Okay, so now we use the loop rule to add into our equations. This is I2, I3, and I1. So, uh, if we are to relate the solution in the single loop, I1, I2, and I3 are our guess currents. So, now we will assign the loop currents. So, this is also arbitrary. So, I will assign a loop current here. Say, let's say loop A and loop current B here. So, A will be traveling in this manner and B will be traveling in this manner. Okay, so let's try to... Uh, first, let's see the polarities of our resistors <coughs> with respect to the guess currents. So, let's say first for uh, this ohm 4 ohm resistor. So, this 4 ohm resistor with respect to I1 is uh, if we would forward propagate <coughs> Oh, sorry. <coughs> Not with respect to I1. This should be with respect to I2. So, if we would reverse I2 I2 passes through this 4 ohm resistor in this direction. So, the polarity of 4 ohm resistor with respect to our guess I2 should be from plus to minus. So, this is due to the direction of our guess current I2. Uh, next, in this 6 ohm resistor. So, with respect to I1, this should be plus... then minus and last we have here in our 2 ohm resistor with respect to I3 so I3 will be moving from here to here so the polarity of the 2 ohm resistor should be plus then minus so now that we know the polarities of the resistors with respect to the uh, guest current uh, we can now uh, use the loop currents. So for loop A, uh, we will uh, what will what we are going to do is we going we are going to account for all the gains and drops of the potentials along loop A. So let's follow the direction of loop A. So let's start with this 10 volt battery. So loop A travels here and experiences a potential gain. Since, since it uh, it travels with direction of minus to plus, this should be a gain of plus 10 volts from the battery. Okay, next in this I1, it encounters region of plus to minus. So this should be minus I1 times the resistance of that resistor 6 ohms and it is a potential drop okay so next we have we will encounter this 14 volt battery uh, even it is if it is a battery with respect to loop current a it experiences a minus to plus so this should be a gain, so plus 14 volts. And then finally, uh, this 4 ohm resistor uh, experiences a potential, drop, potential gain since it starts from low to high, minus to plus. So this will be a potential gain, so this should be plus uh, the current passing in this 4 ohm resistor is, if you would trace back 
it is from I2. So this should be plus I2 times 4 ohms. And this closes our loop. So this is equal to 0. So this is for loop A. Okay, so I don't want to uh, mess this circuit up. Okay. Okay, so I leave it like that. And so now we have our second equation. And our third equation will come from loop B. So let's I'll use a different color. So for loop B, we can start uh, wherever we want. So I'll just start here. So first it encounters a potential gain since minus 2 plus. Potential gain of uh let's see current I3 times 2 ohms so it's a potential gain because uh, loop current B experiences minus 2 plus and the next now we encounter the 6 ohm resistor and we know that its polarity is from minus 2 plus with respect to B so it will be another potential gain and the current passing to this 6 ohm resistor is I1 times the resistance of 6 ohms. And then next we encounter this battery. Now this battery is from plus to minus. It's minus. So with respect to loop current B, this is a potential drop. So this should be minus 10 volts. And we go back to the initial loop and then this will close our loop. So this is our next equation. So the next video we are going to solve uh, this system of three equations to solve for I1, I2 and I3.